Hello everybody, this is Jesse Brissett with Hemlock Hill RV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hideout 175. Get close and personal and see what this nice small single axle unit has to offer. Well, you'll notice right up front here, it's got the diamond plate, which is a key feature. Keeps this trailer looking nicer for a longer period of time. Also some good storage as you come through. Nice pass-through storage. You could fit uh, fit some longer items in here. Um, they do a great job of finishing it off. They don't just throw plywood under here or or, or wood. They actually uh, finish it off with some laminate flooring to uh, help protect it, keep it cleaner, keep it looking nicer and longer. Single step as you get in. Once again, you got your hideout 175. Nice standard steel tire, and those are actually uh, um, baked aluminum, which keeps it from rusting away. You know, one thing that I noticed with a lot of the white aluminum is uh, you start to see that rust spot as they go through. You also got your power awning. I'm sorry, not a power awning. We've got your outside speakers, manual awning, manual awning, and all of our 175s we order with the spare tire. They're going to have the stabilizer jacks as well. So that way when you do find the site that you want to get hooked up on, you're going to be able to get it nice and set up and get it nice and solid there. And then you have your cable right to the rear. Okay, coming along the off door side, it's got just a good clean look to it. Um, simple, uh, not overly uh, graphics, uh, not too many stickers to worry about. Um, nice, clean, um, good look. And you also have your... Uh, your outside water heater, You're not your outside water heater, but your water heater. All right, furnace, quick and easy. All right, this is a DSI, so it's a direct spark ignition system. It does get hot. You've got all your connections over here, so that way you're going to be able to connect to your fresh water or your city water. All right, you've got your power cord. Let me look right here for you. Holds nice and away. And then coming right over on this side, you got your weight tags and your VIN tags. All right, this is going to come in at a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,400 pounds. That's going to be completely loaded up with full water, full cargo. Um, so that's the outside of the 175. We're going to uh, take a look at the inside and see what that has to offer.